Shalom, shalom, praise the Lord. My name is Charlie D. This is Slice of Today. Thank you very much for tuning in for Slice of Today. I know in that you believe that each and every one of you are going to be blessed by our Slice of Today. And so this day, this is going to be our last Slice of Today in the month of October. In the month of October, this is going to be the last Slice of Today. So we're going to meet together on the 2nd of November. On the 2nd of November. Yay! In that I hope that you are, you are expectant of the Lord that in this month our theme has been i'm glad i'm born again in this month our theme has been i'm glad i'm born again and it's my prayer my heart is that each and every one of us that we are glad that we are born again and we got to look at an at a number of things and um, in regard to i'm glad i'm born again and so this time round and, and so this time round i'm go, we're gonna be looking in uh, in the story of now that i'm born again what should i be doing now that i'm born again you know, what should i be doing in that what should, each and every one of us should be doing is that Go and tell it. Uh, go and tell it to everyone. Go and share the the gospel with everyone. In that freely you've received, freely you should give to other people. That's the thing that you've freely received. Just cast your Lord, your Savior. So also freely give him to other people. You know, sometimes that may be seem may seem as if it's very as at seem as 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 if it's very easy and yet very hard. Uh, but I'm here to encourage each and every one of you. Once someone receives Jesus Christ as Lord, a Savior, they made a new creation. If they are having any illness, if they are demon possessed, in that it must go, things must change because of them being made a new creation, because of them being made a new creation, a new creation. And so, yeah, there's a quote that, a quote that Abbe Johnson got to read uh, that was that was uh, quoted, uh, stated by Martin Luther, and he said that. Uh, we ought we ought to preach the gospel every day because every day people forget the gospel you have got to speak you have got to share the gospel every day because every day people forget the gospel and uh, let me check my notes if that's the way that he said it and uh, let me check my notes and uh, my notes uh, i just share them on whatsapp that's where i put my notes martin luther king yeah let me just search it. I'm not seeing it. Anyway, it says uh, it's a thing about each and every one of even Paul Paul Rex said that uh, Paul Rex said that it's for your advantage that I repeat this thing. It's for your good that I repeat this thing. It's for your good that I repeat this thing. And the gospel, gospel usually means that too good to be true. The gospel usually means that this thing is too good to be true. This thing is too good to be true. And uh, we all know the story of the Red Sea, the way it parted, and Israelites were able to cross the Red Sea. And the same, um, the same sea that the Israelites got to cross um, through, that's the same sea that the Egyptian died. And that whatever shall work for you will not work for your enemy. Whatever will work for you will not work for your enemy. And so let each and every one of us always be glad. Always be glad when the Lord uh, takes you to a promised land. Always be glad when God does a new thing in your life. And don't you ever be afraid. Don't you ever be afraid that the enemy will come and find you. The enemy will, will come and, and pull you down. In that, that that will not happen. That will not happen unless you allow them in. Unless you allow them in. But for each and every one of us, we've got to, to know and to understand in that whatever shall favor us will not favor our enemy. Whatever will work for us will not work for our enemy. And since so for each and every one of us to go right through the door, to go right through the sea, to go into our in, to go into our garden, to go into the place that the Lord has prepared for us, and let none of us fear. Let none of us fear that whatever was following you will still follow you in, in the place that God has in the place that God has created for you, in the place that God has set for you, in the place that God has prepared for you let you never be afraid in that once you overcame it you overcame it because of god and so unless you open the door unless you open the door for the enemy to come in and rob you again unless you go ahead and sleep and be reluctant and be lazy in that that's when that thing will keep on following you but when you adapt when you adapt into that new thing you see adaptation adaptation is a feature adaptation is a, is a yeah adaptation is a let me use the word feature of of survival in that when people fail to adapt they're the same thing like animals when animals fail to adapt into uh, to a particular environment or particular weather to a particular atmosphere in that they will, they will suffer and die that's the same thing with, with each and every one of us as believers as christian you adapt to that environment you adapt into the new place that the lord has set you when you, if you fail to adapt if you fail to adapt one you'll fail to make good of, of that place one you'll fail, uh, you'll fail to make good of that place and two the, is the other one is that you will fail in that it doesn't matter how good it is in that you have to adapt you have to adapt the other thing about it change for one of you like it change from the inside out that change from the inside out and so let us pray 
Almighty never living Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I'm grateful for yet another opportunity, another privilege you're given unto me to share your word, O oh God. And dearly Father, and dearly Father, this Friday, O oh God, being the last Friday of the month of October, your God has been faithful to us, your God has been good to us, your God who has been our Ebenezer. And dearly Father, I know and I do believe, O oh God, in the weekend your God shall be with us, O oh God. And whatever blessing, whatever portion of ours that was that was destined for us, O oh God, in this month, O oh God, let each any one of us receive of it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, O oh God, your God who knows of our plans, your God who knows of our leader, our desires, O oh God. And dearly Father, and dearly Father, we delight ourselves in you, we delight ourselves in you. Let you be found ordering us, let you be found ordering us, and dearly Father, in this month, it has been our theme has been I'm glad I'm born again, I'm glad I'm glad I'm born again. And dearly Father, let each and every one of us, O oh God, have a restoration of the joy of salvation. Let each and every one of us never lack the joy of salvation, but enable each and every one of us to live a life of always being glad that you are born again and we are born again that you are born of about that you are born of you and dearly father as i'm gonna share your word oh god let it be seeds in our hearts and we are fruits in our life and this is a prayer of faith that i pray in the name of the lord jesus christ amen 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 yeah and so i'm glad i'm born again and so what next after you have received Jesus Christ as lord and savior after you're going to know about this truth after you're going to experience this life the next thing is for each and every one of us to go and tell it to other people go and tell it to your brother go and tell it to your neighbor Go and tell it to, uh, to whatever is close to you or far away from you. And that, that's, that's the great commission that each and every one of us have been assigned. Many people are actually living a life of wondering what should I do, where should I be, in that let the great commission always be your, your help. Let the great commission always be your help in that God, if I get this position, God, if I get this job, in that, in that, the, will, you be, will you be in a place of fulfilling the great commission? Will you be in a place, will you be in a, in a space uh, to fulfill the great commission? And so today we're going to read about uh, the four lepers. Uh, people, I, uh, and also we are in our three days of praying and fasting. Uh, today is the second day. Today is the second day. Yeah, so, yeah, we're going to read from the book of Second Kings, chapter 7, verse 3. In the book of Second Kings, chapter 7, verse 3. And now there are four men with lepers. Now there are four men with lepers. And so you see the thing about those of whom um, those of whom had leprosy, those of whom were lepers, is that they were considered to be outcasts. They were considered to be outcasts. They were considered to be outcasts in that in that they were far away. And the same thing with each and every one of us. In that we are we, in that uh, in that in the Bible talks about for we were once not God's people. We are once not, not God's people, but but now we are God's people, and He is our God, and He not be ashamed. And, that uh, in the in the book of in the book of Hebrews in the book of Hebrews it talks about the in the wall of faith in the wall of faith it talks about people uh, who live the life of faith who live their life by faith and in the Bible it talks about and God was not ashamed to be called their God God was not ashamed to be called their God because they lived the life of faith and so let it also be an encouragement to change one of them let God not be ashamed to be called your God and the only way for God not to be ashamed to be called your God is if you live a life by faith if you live a life by faith. Yeah, and so in the book of in the book of Matthew, I, I'm, I'm just gonna uh, give bits about lepra uh, and lep, uh, people with lepra, so that we can see the thing about the gospel. Uh, in the book of Matthew, chapter eight, verse two, it says that now behold, a leper came and worshipped him, our Lord Jesus Christ, saying, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. And so that's the same thing about each and every one of us. In that sin makes us dirty. Sin makes us dirty. For walk and wash away my sins, nothing but the blood of Jesus Christ. Uh, walk and wash away my sin nothing but the blood of jesus what can make me whole again nothing but the blood of jesus and that we get to be made clean by the blood of jesus christ and that sin makes us study and so this leprous uh, person said that um, if you are willing you can make me clean and how can we be made clean we can be made clean by the precious blood of our lord jesus christ and just uh, put his hand and touched him in that that was again is what they were supposed to do in that people were lepers no one was supposed to touch them no one was supposed to greet them it is like the way they they kind of fear people want to live in these days in that not shaking hands for me I like shake your hand <laughs> uh, for me I like shake your hands because for me it's usually personal in that no waving anyways depending upon their level of faith and then jesus then jesus put out his hand and touched him saying i am willing be cleansed that's the same thing to each and every one of them in that lepra so people who are out in the society people are cast out from the environment but for each and every one of us for each and every one of them by the blood of jesus christ in that we get to be made clean 
and when we get to be made clean we are able to go into the holies of holies you see it's only the high priest who are allowed to go into the holies of holies by the blood of the lamb in that the high priest if they didn't have the blood of the lamb they were not supposed to go in, into the holies of holies and so they used uh, they used to offer us in sacrifice once by year and so that is in the twitch and even of them and that once we are made clean once you are made clean then we are we, then we are there worshiping god jumping in his presence making our request known unto him uh, interceding in that we enjoy we enjoy being in the holies of holies because in the book of kings i'm uh, sorry in the book of in the book of revelation talks, 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 i say that we have made a kingdom of priests we have made a kingdom of priests in that we are priests for we are a chosen generation a royal priesthood and so and so that's this by the blood of Jesus Christ. that's the by, by the blood of Jesus Christ in that it makes us clean and so i hope and i do believe that you've got to see of it i am willing being cleansed and immediately the leprous was cleansed that is simply teaching in front of us you are no longer a sinner in that you are saved and so get this the uh, biggest these three, three three things at uh, the day that you receive jesus christ as your lord and savior you are saved the day that you receive jesus christ as your lord and savior you are saved in that your spirit your spirit man was regenerated your spirit man came back to life in that you are saved and in the book of in the book of in the book of James said that with meekness, with humility, receive the uh, receive the word of the Lord, receive the word of the Lord, implant implant in you that is able to save your soul, that is able to save your soul, and so your soul is being saved, your soul is being saved, and that's why we don't we should not comfort the patterns of the one, but we should not comfort the patterns of the one, but let us be transformed by the renewal of our mind, which is the truth of the word of God, in that the word of the Lord keeps on cleaning us, clean, keep on cleaning us, in that I've already told you that the spirit was saved, now your soul, now your soul in that they surely have a battle, in that you may, 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 may be feeling like to abuse someone once again, like to steal once again, like to lie once again, but, and that's why the word of the Lord is really important, because it keeps on cleaning us, it keeps on washing us, the word of the Lord is like water, it keeps on cleaning us, and so your soul is being saved, and the day that our Lord Jesus Christ shall come, our body will be, will be given a glorified body, and so we will be saved totally, completely. Yeah, and just say to him, see that you tell no one, but go your way, show yourself to the priest and offer the gift that Moses commandment as a testimony to them. Yeah, so uh, he had just told him to go uh, his way, show himself to the priest, show himself to the priest, and that that was a, a requirement. That was a, a requirement. You see, that's the thing about um, that's the thing about us, our fellowship with God, our fellowship with God. You see, priests, a priest who are people, Rema Shitalika, okay. Uh, 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 priests were people who are uh, priests were people who like um, like that the same way like our men of God of this team in that a uh, representation of like uh, like um, we know that uh, like they can preach to us the word of the Lord they can pray for us intercede for us uh, and and we shall know that God will hear them God will hear them on our behalf but for each and every one of us having seen Jesus Christ the Lord and Savior we see that the same thing like uh, like Jesus Christ sending this leper. Uh, I'm sorry I've not brought it uh, out uh, in the right way I've not put it out in the right way. Uh, how can I put it? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, thank you, Holy Spirit. So I can put it this way: in that we know about the field, um, the fivefold, the fivefold ministry, the fivefold ministry: apostle, apostle, preacher, evangelist, apostle, preacher, evangelist. In that, uh, there are five of them. There are five of them: apostle, teachers, preachers, evangelists. I've forgotten all, all the fifth one. Yeah, they are five for the equipment of the saints, for the equipment of the same. And so, and so there are people who are, like in the Bible talks about, their shepherds taking care of God's sheep. We are God's flock. And then, yeah, in that they keep on feeding us. But the thing about our prayer, in that we have a direct access because of having Jesus Christ in our life, in that we can pray for ourselves. That's the point that I wanted to bring to you, in that you can pray for yourself, God can hear you. And the beautiful thing about having the men of God is that is that they have lived a life of prayer, they lived a life of just see the live a life of fasting and so when they agree together with you then you shall get your answer speedily uh, because and because maybe they know of the they have they have unlocked is that thing about levels if i may say something like that because you have been praying the seeding praying for the sick and so you have been praying for your illness and don't be you'll not be feeling well in that in that having someone pray for you having someone i pray with you that's actually an act of humility that's actually an act of humility in that why pray for me i'm having the struggle in that Yes, you can pray for yourself, but whenever you like approach someone uh, to pray with you, that's surely an act of humility. And so when Jesus Christ, uh, like them, Jesus Christ telling them, leper, go and present yourself to the priest in that so that you can be, so that you can be welcome back to the courts, and that the priests were in the courts, so that you can be welcome back to the courts and offer the gift. And so now we can be like offering gift to God because of how he has been good to us. And the first thing gift that you should offer to God is your life. 
uh, Matthew 10 8 heal the sea cleanse them cleanse the raper zephyrs sorry raise the dead cast out demon freely you have received freely give freely you have received freely give let me start off from there and you see as in freely you have received what have you received you have received healing we have been cleansed we have received life and we are free for demons heal the sick cleanse the leper raise the dead cast out demon freely you have received what have you received you have received healing you have received a uh, clean you are now clean you have received life and you are you are, not, you are you know you are no longer possessed in that freely you have received all of this so freely give to anyone who is sick heal them to anyone who is uh, who is who is dirty cleanse them to anyone who is dead raise them and to anyone who has demon cast them out in the name of the lord jesus christ in the name of the lord jesus christ thank you holy spirit yeah so i hope you have been blessed by it i'm also blessed by it yeah so now we go back to the book of second king chapter 7 verse 3 and so he said that now there were four men with the lepers four four usually like the cardinal points four usually like the thing about the cardinal points in that we shall have in the north east west and south in the bible I bet when you read the book of ezekiel you read the book of ezekiel you shall see about the four horns you shall see about the four horns and that the four horns is shall be a thing about north east west south you know it's a thing about taking over all over and just Christ told the disciples after just took the, told the disciples when the gospel shall reach all the ends of the world all the ends of the world that's north east west south then the end will come when the gospel shall reach all the ends of the world then the end will come so i hope that you've gotten to know about it the thing about the gospel reaching all the ends of the world that's north east west and south and so that's why here we are having four lepers four lepers four is the number of like all over in that at the end of the sharing i hope I, at the end of the sharing i know that you believe you shall have gotten what i'm saying at the entrance of the city gate at the entrance of the city gate and so here here what the contemplation was At the entrance of the city gate, they say to each other, Why stay here until we die? Why stay here until we die? And why stay here until we die? In that there was there was famine. In that in the previous in the previous uh, verses, you shall see that there was famine. There was famine in that people were dying, people were eating. In like there, uh, there's an instance of two ladies. Uh, they agreed, let us eat my son today. Let, then tomorrow we'll eat your son. Let us eat my child today. Then tomorrow we shall eat your child. Then they ate one of the child. Then the next day, the woman is like, I cannot do that. He, the child. And so they were living um, in, a, in, a, in a time of those famine. And the Bible says that there shall come a time, in there shall come a time, it, it, it shall not be a drought of food, it shall not be a, a, it shall not be a famine of food or a drought of water. It shall be a, it shall be a time that the word of the Lord, in that there shall be a famine of the word of the Lord. Uh, let me look for that verse. A famine of the word. And so for each and every one of us, not take, for, take it for granted in that. Hearing the word of the Lord over and over again, over and over again. And in the book of Amos chapter 8 verse 11, the book of Amos chapter 8 verse 11 says that, Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, that I will send a famine on the land, not a famine of bread, or a thirst of water, not a famine of bread, or a thirst for water, not a famine of bread, or a thirst for water, but of hearing the word of God in that they shall come at him they shall be a famine of hearing the word of the Lord of hearing the word of the Lord and so they say to one another and they say to each other why stay here until we die if we say we will go into the city the famine is there and we will die if we still we say here we will die so let's go over to the camp of the Aram Aramins and surrender if they spare us we will leave if they kill us then we will die and so and so here all their odds all their odds was like death 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 that is simply to people, people who are living in sin that's death. Because people are living in that, as you have seen about leprosy, are people who are people who are who are who are dirty. In that bet is the illness that they are actually having boils all over, all over. In that people actually like avoiding them, avoiding them. Even there's a there's a Christian movie, there's a Christian movie about um, someone with lepros, uh, leprosy, and then they are having a Christian camp. I've forgotten about it. It's a missionary movie. If I remember it, I'll let you know about the movie. Yeah, and so they have people with lepra. And so the all the, and so that's the thing. If people people are living in sin, people is are, is are people who are living in that. And so people are living in that, in that they'll just die. People who don't have the word of the Lord, they'll just die. Farming. Not having the word of the Lord, they will die. People living in sin, people living in that because they were just of sin is death, they'll simply die. And so and so they were having their other option in that if you go to the army that's uh, that's uh, surrounded us, they will spare us, we will leave. If they kill us, we will die. 
And so they decided to go. Verse 5, at dusk, at dusk, twilight dusk, let's go and leave it. I bet it's in the evening. At dusk, they got up and went to the camp of them. Adam means, when they reached the edge of the camp, not a man was there. For the Lord had caused the other means to hear the sound of chariots and horses. And so we're seeing here, when we are in that, let me just continue reading so that we can, <laughs> so that I can just share it. For the Lord caused the, uh, caused the other means to hear the sound of chariots and horses and a great army, so that they say to one another, look, the Lord, the, the king of Israel has hired them, Hittites and Egyptian king to attack us. So they got up and fled in the dusk and a baron their, their tents and their horses and donkeys. They left the camp as it was and, and, and ran for their lives. The men who had a leprous reached the edge of the camp and entered one of the tents. They ate and drank and carried away silver gold clothes and went off and hid them. They returned and entered another tent and took some things from it and hid them also. Then they said to each other, we are not doing right. This is a day of good news. Let me just continue. It's a day of good news, and we are keeping it to ourselves if we wait until daylight. And so dusk is that evening. Dusk is that evening. If we wait until daylight, punishment will overtake us. Let's go at once and report this to the royal palace. So they went and called out to the city gatekeepers and told them, We were in the Adamians' camp, and not a man was there, not a sound of any anyone uh, tethered horses. Huh? Not a sound of anyone, only tethered horses and donkeys. And the tent left as they were. The gatekeeper shouted the news, and it was reported within the palace. The king got up in his night, in the night, and said to his official, "I will tell you what the Arameans have done to us. They know we are starving, so they left the camp to hide in the countryside, thinking that they will surely come out and they will take them alive and get into the city." One of the of, of officers answered, "Have some men take five of the horses. Yeah, five is the number of grace. Yeah, have some men take five horses. Five of the horses they are left in the city. Their plight while will be like they their plight will be like that of all the Israelites left here. Yes, they will only be like all of the of all of these Israelites who are doomed. So let us send them to find out what happened." So they selected two chariots and their horses, and the king sent them after the Arameans army. They commanded the driver, go and find out what has happened. They followed them as far as the Jordan and found the whole road swing from the clothing and equipment the Arameans had thrown away in the headlong flight. So the messenger returned and reported to the king. The people went out and planted the camp of the Arameans. So a seed of flour sold for shekel and two seeds of barley sold for shekel as the Lord had said. Uh, let me just uh, stop at that and just break it uh, each for us. I don't know if you are here, yeah, that story is really powerful, really encouraging. And it's waiting even one of us to always believe, to always believe. You know, sometimes people are like, um, in our days, why don't we, aren't, aren't we having the parting of the Red Sea? In our days, why don't we have money coming from heaven? In our days, why don't we see these crazy things that we read in the Bible? In our days, why aren't we seeing it? And that's what makes other people say that. Then the Bible entry, then the story of the gospel entry, then everything written in the Bible is only fiction because they're not seeing it in our day. And maybe that can be your story. And that maybe you're like, in that why don't you have Samson in our time? You see people are in, the, in the Bible talks about for we walk by faith and not by sight. And uh, in the in the book of Abedis, in the book of John, he said that we love him whom you have not seen with our eyes. Loving God, in that you say you love God and you've never seen him. In that that's a thing of faith. You know that God exists, you knowing that God hears your prayer every time that you pray. In the for each and every one of us, we are living in a time that it's all by faith. It's all by faith. And that's how we win our battle. We win our battle by faith. In that when the Son of Man shall come back on earth, will he find faith? You see, the miracle sense and wonders, in that the miracle sense and wonder will follow everyone who believes. And so that's a thing about it's a personal thing. It's a personal thing like me in my life, uh, tasting and opening my, my, my mouth to see, opening my eye to see that the Lord is good, that the Lord is good. In that it's a thing that becomes personal to each and every one of us, in that you yourself, in your work of salvation, in your life with God, in that you shall already be found testifying that the Lord is good. You shall be saying that God did this for me. God did this for me. I know that God is real. And so, it's, and so it's, 
it's uh, uh, unlike in the Old Testament that I think about the Israelites sing of God, doing sing of God, fighting for them. In that this time round is all about us personally, as personally. And so in the book of Second Kings, as you have read, in the book of Second Kings, as you have read, in the story of the four leper, the story of the four leper, and then they went and then they went found the camp of the enemy it was empty they ate and drank they ate and drank they found gold silver and when, when you have read about the gold silver i've just remind i remembered of the story of the israelite when they left egypt in that they left with they left with treasures in that they went to the they went to the to the to the egyptian and then and then they were given gold silver everything that's the thing about salvation the thing about salvation is that we have been blessed with all spiritual blessing in the heavenly realm we have been blessed with all spiritual blessing in the heavenly realm and so it's for each and every one of us to lead knowing that we are rich and so the thing is actually about how to, how do we translate how do we translate our spiritual our spiritual riches in that into becoming earthly possession how do we do it how do we do it and so here the four lepers in that they went to the, into the camp, they ate and drank, they were all happy, they were all excited, in the, they were enjoying it all because you see they were hungry and then they thought that they were going to be killed, they thought that the, uh, the enemy was going to have mercy on them, give them food or they're going to be killed. But they found no one. They found no one, and so and so this day and so one and so they so to, they say to each other, this day this is good news. This is good news. And the same thing about the gospel. The same thing about the gospel. And earlier on, Elisha had given a prophecy. Tomorrow time like now. Tomorrow at time like now, you shall be buying things cheaply. You shall be buying things cheaply. And so that brings this this thing to mind. And and this is what I'd like to tell each and every one of you, that God has told someone, has told a mother, has told a father, has told a daughter, has told a son. Has told someone, a stranger, that their life's gonna change. Their life's gonna change. Their life's gonna change. That tomorrow is gonna be a good day, and tomorrow will only be a good day if you go to them and share with them the gospel, and share with them the good news. In that the thing about salvation is usually about us. In that that which you have enjoyed, that which you have celebrated, that which you have seen of the Lord doing in your life. In that go and tell other people. Go and tell other people because God, because God, God is a God who uses men. God is a God who uses men because His Spirit and here on earth is only is only our body that grant us legal access here on earth, and so it's a thing for each and every one of them. In that God told a God told someone. Your addiction is gonna end you're gonna have a good day you're gonna have a good tomorrow you're gonna have a bright future and god wants to use each and every one of you in the, in the bible read about king Ab i mean Ab abimelech and 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 king abimelech god and abraham god told uh, god told king abimelech in that that man abraham abraham in that he's a prophet is gonna pray for you in that god was victor talking to him but he was telling him that abraham that abraham is a prophet is gonna pray for you he's gonna pray for you and it's gonna be good in that god 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 did not do it, but he was like telling him that go and tell this guy to do it for you. Go and tell this guy to pray for you. Go and tell this guy in that to heal you of, of whatever you are of whatever you're facing. So that is the same thing to each and every one of us. And that God wants to use each and every one of us. And so it's for each and every one of us to get out of our way. Let us get out of, out of our way and be a blessing. Let us be a blessing to other people. Let us reach out to them. Let us tell them of the gospel. Let us tell them of the good news. In that it will be bad for you to just live a life. You see, you are having you're living in a time that you are living in a time that many believers are just living a life for themselves. They're just happy that they pray. They're just happy that they go to church. They're happy that they fast. Maybe if, <laughs> if there are uh, people who like uh, who love fasting and desire more of God, in that it's about time for each and every of them. In that, go to the lost sheep. Go to the lost people. Go to those people who are who are starving. Go to those people whom you left. Whom you left. You got born again. Your life was changed. Your life was transformed by Jesus Christ being in your life. And so, and so, and so, this send five is the number of grace. This five is the number of grace. In the for each and every one of us, this is a message of grace. Let us believe. If you don't, let let us believe in this message of the grace. For we have been saved by grace through faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. For we have been saved. That's in, I bet it's in the book of Ephesians. For we have been saved by faith through. For we have been saved by grace through faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. So it's a thing for each and every one of us. In the destroy of the four leper, that's the thing about the gospel. I am glad I'm born again. I'm, I'm glad. I am glad. I'm glad that God gives my gives me my daily bread. I am glad that God gives me my, my, my daily bread. And so you, with the daily bread that the Lord has given unto you, with the daily bread that God has given unto you, in that. And with the daily bread that God has given unto you, how are you? How are other people able? In that you, you will come, other people like to be part of it. In the Bible read about uh, Rahab, Rahab, in that she was a prostitute, but they fought uh, by the two spies in that came and brought to her, uh, but came and brought her into their, into their like, like uh, to be among them. And her life was changed, everything about her was changed. In that she also got to receive of the manna that God was providing for them and got to see of God 
fighting for them in that she got to be part of them and the same thing to each and every one of us in that the story of the four lepers the story about in that they were glad that they got it all and that that was good news to be true and so they went and told everyone and so let it be a thing about for to each and every one of us go and tell other people go and tell other people come and see what the lord has done so shalom shalom till next time in that let's meet um during the weekend my brother on saturday at 4 30 uh, it's gonna be with phoebe they'll be talking awesome things awesome stuff so let us tune in and also subscribe with slice of today's uh channel i wanted to say christian channel yeah it's a christian channel <laughs> yeah so bye bye till next time